After many hours of flights with a killer jet lag, I was sitting in a cab from Juarez airport and didn't even expect what the city was about to offer to me in the upcoming weeks. This is Ciudad de México. My name is Kasper Zalsman and I'm the professional grill master. In my free time I travel around the world looking for real food made with fire. I don't know if there's anything more Mexican than a taco. Small corn tortilla with a little bit of meat and vegetables and sauces. But in my country, this kind of Mexican cuisine is usually based on meat, nice quality, good meat. And when you're buying tacos here in Mexico on the street, it's everything, it's absolutely everything. Let's check how many interesting stuff you can find in your taco in Mexico. You really don't have to look for taco spots in Mexico. They are everywhere. Each place is equipped with any kind of plancha to fry the meat and tacos. Slightly used up cutting board and a selection of salsas to choose from. Many times served straight from the mortar that it's been produced in. It is simple. Order what meat you want inside your taco, con vitaminas meaning with onion and cilantro or without, and at the end add salsas of your choice. Salsa verde of herbs and avocado, pico de gallo of tomatoes, or spicy ones, made of more or less killer chilies. Don't try to pay immediately, they won't accept it. First, have a seat and eat. Order two or three more tacos, rest a bit, order one more, and then you can approach the counter and pay. Let's start simple. Taco with sausage. First sausage I want to check is longanica, a bit spicy sausage made of big pieces of pork. It looks really good. Let's see how it tastes. Is that picante? No. Is that picante? No, no, it's not picante. Yep, it was spicy. Oh, muy picante. Pero rico. Longanica was delicious. I was given a free taco with beef to try. I didn't want to offend the chef, so I ate it. But you guys know, I didn't go to Mexico to eat steaks. Muy rico. I ate longanica and moved on to the next taco. Chorizo verde. I just had to try this beauty. Chorizo verde is a pork sausage with cilantro, parsley and green chili. Yep, I know how does a green sausage look like for European standards. But trust me, in this case green color means it's really tasty, not spoiled. Do you guys see that? They are adding french fries to my taco. And in this exact moment, after ordering and receiving the food, I realized I had no cash. You won't pay with card for street food in Mexico. I got it for free. That was one of the most embarrassing moments in my life. If you're a white guy like me, they really keep giving you food for free here. And it shouldn't work like that. This is wrong. I am a rich parasite here. Eating great foods made by these hardworking people straight on the street just fulfill my need to post good stuff on my YouTube. No, this cannot end like this. I still had my Polish money in the wallet. I honestly recommend this gentleman and his taco spot. <laughs> Moronga. Another interesting taco I've had on a really typical Mexican mercado in Mexico City, Merced. It was just a cheap market for locals to buy some food, eat lunch and have a beverage. Not for tourists looking for a Scorpio to eat, but already insects and chicken intestines you could easily eat here. What I've done, of course, but I will tell you about it in another episode. <laughs>
Today, take a look at Taco de Moronga, Mexican blood sausage. This is my table. This is my spot. This is my chef. Taco de Moronga. Moronga rellena. Dos tacos a Moronga, por favor. Dos tacos. Okay, let's dig in. I'll start with Moronga. Really delicious. Oh my God. One of the best Morongas I've ever eaten. And I've eaten a lot in Poland, trust me. This is really, really fucking hot. A lot of this stuff it gave me like huge moronga. I have no idea if I'll be able to eat the whole thing. Let's try it. With sauce. This taco was really delicious. I've added nopales, Mexican edible cactus plenty of onion and spicy salsa. It all happened on my first day there before noon. I already had a few dishes eaten that day. I was getting really full. Let's take a short break for a history lesson. Taco as a dish is a perfect combination of ancient Mexican food like corn tortilla with the stuff that was brought here by Hernan Cortez and his followers. In terms of food, the most important change that was brought here from Spain is breeding and eating meat like beef and pork. During pre-Hispanic times, people didn't eat a lot of meat here. And if so, it was more common to eat a dog, some birds or just insects. Beef and pork didn't really exist here. Now it is getting really interesting, from eye to tail. Guys, another weird tacos. This time with the pig's eye and with the pig's brain. And al pastor. But I'm gonna tell you about it in the next episode. Oh, gracias. Ojo, eso, pastor. Ojo, eso, pastor. Gracias. A bit of spicy stuff. A bit of vitaminas and a bit of salsa verde. Here we go. It's not kidding me. Taco with eye. Consistency is weird. It's okay, it's spicy. Maybe I just got too much tacos today. Now the brain. Here we go. No. Yeah, the brain much better than the eye. This bar offered many kinds of interesting tacos, but at this point I was completely full and couldn't eat any more cheeks nor tongues. But there was also the heart. Heart of this place was its kitchen. Watching these guys at work was a pure pleasure for me. Taco chefs in the kitchens of the busy places, they were all moving like cats. Fast, effective and confident of every move. Do you see this liquid in which the meat is cooking in? They call it consomme, but it doesn't really resemble a classical French soup called the same. This is just a kind of stuff, bomb of umami that you cook your meat in and then add it as a sauce before serving to give plenty of flavor to every taco. Yep, 
cooks put raw meat inside the sauce. Anybody got a problem with that? Maybe you should check the taco I've had in Cholula before you judge them. Cholula is extremely beautiful and looks a bit like a Mexico we know from Desperado movie. Colorful buildings, graffiti, old American cars, plenty of people selling everything they can, and a lot of sunshine. Cholula is very close to Puebla, city which is origin to famous Mole Poblano sauce. So here you can buy many versions of this delicacy, but also ready mole spice mix. Every kind of mole has plenty ingredients, mostly aromatic spices, but also chocolate is a very popular base for mole. And that's the smell of the city, spices and chocolate. For me, the most exciting place here was Mercado, but I will tell you about it in another episode. Today, I will show you only one taco that ruined my trip a bit. It was all going according to taco drill. Meat, vitaminas, salsas. But then I said in Polish. Listen to me carefully now. If you're in Mexico and something's off in your taco, no matter how hungry you are, just drop this food and run. I got really sick the next day. There are stuff in Mexico I couldn't quite accept. For example, storing and exposing the meat. I also couldn't get this. And this was quite hard for me too. But there was one important issue that really shocked me there. I was in Mexico on the 8th of March. From where I come from, this is a happy holiday of all the women. But in Mexico, oh, there is no celebration there. On that day in Mexico, women protest aggressively against the way they are treated in their own country. Like objects. Women disappear in Mexico. They are being kidnapped probably by cartels. Sometimes they are just killed, but most of the time families are left with no info. Wives, daughters, mothers are just suddenly gone. The biggest problem of this issue is social acceptance and lack of action from Mexican government. That's why they protest. They want the government to take action in this issue. But the government of Mexico... Well... You know the cartels are big and rich and powerful, right? The government of Mexico prefers to sit quietly and take care of some other business. What were we talking about before? Oh, tacos. After I left the taxi on my first night in Mexico City, I went straight to eat tacos, which I found just outside my hotel. And it turned out to be the most amazing tacos so far. That was taco de tripa, pork intestines. Check this out. This pink stuff, that's a tripa. Do you hear this fat beat? Beautiful groove. This spot had an amazing vibe. Really shady street, plenty of people, some dude tired after work, other woman is just beginning her day, another one came with her baby. All these people just stood there for a while to eat a decent taco. Don't believe a thing you see in the center of Mexico City. City lights, coffee shops and skyscrapers is just a shiny cover to poverty and hard work.
Here is real Ciudad de México. Bus driver, hooker and a blue collar eating taco de tripa. For most of them, that's a highlight of this day. So I find a place where I can sit and taco de tripa. Here I go. I love these tacos. I have a feeling that I lost track of this story myself. It was supposed to be a taco story, and it turned out to be a little bit about Mexico, about people and about life. I hope you didn't expect me to talk only about the food. I love good food, but I love meeting people and other cultures as well. That's why we travel, don't we? Make sure to subscribe, because there's more videos from Mexico coming. I met a family which is organizing real Mexican barbacoa de hoyo for a few hundreds of people every weekend. This is something you must see.